everyone, today I am sat in my usual spot. It must mean that I'm doing a only using certain beauty products for the day video. I feel like this has become like a full on series now on my channel. Like I've done quite a lot of them. That's okay. I feel like you can do loads of different things with it. It's fine. Today I'm going to be only using Amazon's most wished for beauty products for the day. So I thought that would be fun. I thought it would be fun to see if the stuff that people put on their Amazon wish lists are actually any good. I've done this with like random products. I thought it'd be fun to do it as one of these like beauty product testing videos as well. So basically what I did is for every beauty product that I would need for today, I went into the category and I picked out of the top three most wished for products. Like I picked one thing out of the top three. That's all I can use for today. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Oh, and give this video a thumbs up if you like these videos. Thanks, bye. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna start off with my morning skincare. And when I searched for the most wished for cleanser or face wash it was putting CeraVe in their Amazon wish list. I feel like I thought it'd be something a bit more exciting, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure like the top three products were just different versions of the CeraVe face wash. So I think I went for the second most wished for one, which is the Foaming Cleanser, because that's the one that I already have. Maybe this is only boring to me because I already have this and I've used it many times before. So yeah, I'm gonna go and wash my face with this, just like I do most mornings. Um, I'm not even gonna film it because I just feel like that's a bit boring, but I'll be back in a sec. So for for the rest of my skincare, some of the most wished for skincare products on Amazon were by the brand D'Alba. I think it was this product specifically that was in the top three most wished for. And D'Alba are actually sponsoring this little section of the video. They asked me a few weeks ago if I wanted to try out some of their products, so I've been using them. And I really love them, like they've genuinely made it into my skincare routine. So the signature ingredient in their products is white truffle, which is a natural luxury antioxidant, which does all sorts of of great things for your face. It improves skin elasticity, it smooths fine lines, and it leaves your skin with a truffle glow, which you'll probably see from the clips that I'm gonna insert in a sec. Yeah, basically if you like skincare products that leave your face looking glowy as hell, you will really like these, I promise. <laughs> so yeah, the first product I have is their First Spray Serum, which is a face mist. So as you can see, it starts off separate. So this is the oil, and then this is the white truffle serum. So you just need to give it a little shake to blend them together. So yeah, once the two layers are combined, it looks a little bit like this. And then I just spritz it onto my face and it comes out in a really nice fine mist. And as you can see, it really does make a huge difference and it leaves my skin looking so glowy and dewy. And you can use it in any step of your skincare or makeup routine, whether that's on its own to make your skin look a little bit healthier. You can use it before makeup as like a makeup base, or you can even use it during or after your makeup as well to kind of freshen it up a little bit. So it is a multi-purpose this product it does many things so the next product i have is their white truffle double serum and cream which is basically two products in one so yeah this is their aqua serum and then this is the rich cream and you can basically combine the two to customize the product to your specific skin i'd say i have combination skin so i use a one-to-one -one ratio of the serum to cream so yeah once i've mixed my perfect ratio i then just apply some to my skin blend it in with my fingers and my skin is left feeling and looking really moisturized and healthy and then the last product i have is their double layer revitalizing serum which is basically like a concentrated version of the mist again it starts off separate so this is the oil and then this is the white truffle serum so again you just give it a little shake to blend and then again once the two layers are blended it will look a little something like this i then just take a couple of pumps on my hands and obviously massage it into my skin and this serum gives you 100 hours of hydration so as you can imagine it leaves my skin feeling and looking super hydrated and glowy so yeah if you want to check out any of D'Alva's products I'm going to have Amazon links to each of these in the description box for now I'm going to use a little bit of this as my moisturizer this morning I guess I'll use the spray when I'm doing my makeup later and then I'll save the serum for when I'm doing like my evening skincare later I'm now going to move on to what am I moving on to oh I have to do my hair I have a thing. <laughs> this. This is the thing. I've never tried one of these. I feel like everyone in the world, well, unless you haven't got hair. Most people who have hair have tried one of these at this point. They've been popular for a while now. But I have never tried a heatless curling 
thingy. But today I'm going to. This is one of the most wished for in the like heatless hair section because I wanted to go for a hair tool but I think the most wished for hair tool was still that Revlon styler thing. So I was like that's boring we've done that. So I thought I would try something heatless. And yeah this was I think this was the number one. It is the satin heatless curling set by the brand kits. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. I think the idea is you're supposed to do this the night before and sleep in it, but I struggle sleeping at the best of times. If I'm sleeping with a freaking tube going around my head, it's not happening. Although I might test it in a sec, not actually go to sleep, <laughs> but I might test it like lying on my pillow and see how it would have felt. So yeah, I think you're supposed to sleep with it. Ayo. But um, I'm gonna put it in and then just leave it in for maybe like four hours. Okay, so you get a scrunchie, cute, another scrunchie, and then this is the tube. Okay, first of all, I've put my little fringy bits in a separate curler just because I think that'll probably look better. And then I've made the rest of my hair damp. So it says, place the ribbon, ribbon? Are we calling this a ribbon? Okay, it says to place the ribbon on top of your head um, and use your favorite claw clip to secure it in place. What if I don't have a favorite claw clip because I don't own a claw clip at all? <laughs> but is it game over already? Begin wrapping your hair around, starting with a section at the top of your head. Okay, I think the idea idea is just to start wrapping. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the first section. Without letting go, you take the next section and then you start wrapping that as well. Wrap, 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 wrap. I think I might have to go and do it off camera so that I can actually look in a mirror, not in a viewfinder. But that's like the general idea. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, just as a warning, I don't look very cute right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done it right. I think it was definitely easier when I could see what I was doing, funnily enough. Who knew? And I've just tied off the ends as well. And obviously I've done it on both sides now. So yeah, I now need to leave this in for... I, I think I will leave it for about four hours. <gasps> oh, actually though, before I move on to the next thing, I want to test lying in bed with this. Hang on. Okay, welcome to my bed. We're now in bed together. <laughs> um, it's fine. If you're lying on your back, it's fine because there's like nothing on the back of your head. Like this feels absolutely fine. But if you're a side sleeper, which I am, I'm a cider, it's also kind of fine. Well, it's a little bit like in the way, but where it's quite squishy, that doesn't feel too bad. Next product, I am going to do my nails. Cause as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, my nails are naked. <laughs> so for my nails, I have these gel nail strips. They're by the brand Moyu London, I think that's how you say it. And I've had so many adverts come up for this recently on my Instagram. So I'm wondering if a lot of people are also getting adverts and then they're putting it in their Amazon wish list from that. Because yeah, I've seen these everywhere, but they're basically semi-cured gel nail stickers. So they had quite a few different designs to pick from. And initially I was gonna get just the black ones because that's what I would usually do. I always have black nails. But then I thought, no, I'll go for something that's not like how I would usually paint my nails and something a bit different. So I went for these, which are quite literally the opposite of my normal style, but they look like mini eggs. And for that reason and that reason alone, I went for them. <gasps> Cute. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off the first one and then I'm just gonna stick it onto my nail like that. And then I think you have to push it down. Okay, this one might've been a little bit too small for my little finger. There's like a edge going on here. Oh well. Now I've got to like cut it to size. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> I now just need to put them under the UV light for 60 seconds, I think, and then that is it. I have this little mini travel UV light, so I'm just gonna use that. I've never tried it before, but I'm hoping it will work. Um, so I'm just gonna stick my nails under there. Oh yeah, they have gone hard. Okay, so now that they're fully cured, they're like much harder. So I'm now just gonna file them down and try and neaten them up a little bit. Okay, so these are the finished nails. I think they look a little bit crap. But I don't know if that's a me problem, like I've done it badly, or if they're just a bit bad. I think it's probably a me problem because it was my first time trying it and also doing it whilst filming is sometimes a little bit tricky. This one here is kind of hanging off. This one is a little bit 
lumpy. Yeah, I feel like I've definitely messed up the sizing on some of them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take these off. I think I'd rather have naked nails today than these because they've come out a bit of a mess. I'm gonna take these off and I think they'll just peel off quite easily. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I must have really done something wrong if it came off like that. Bro, they all just peeled off in like five seconds. They peeled off like actual stickers. I made a massive mistake somewhere. So the time has come to take out these things. It's been like four hours. I feel like it must have done something by now. Like my hair is fully dry. I guess first of all, we just remove the scrunchies. You right, mate? Have a little audience. And by audience, I mean one cat. <laughs> Both of the scrunchies are out. And then I think what people do is they just kind of like wiggle it a bit to get it to loosen. I mean, this one's out. Ooh, I mean, that is a curl. Kind of like shake them out. <gasps> I mean, damn, that is so much curlier than when I use an actual like heated tool. Okay, shake out the other side. <gasps> that one shook out nicely. Shake, 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 shake. There we go. Oh, no, oh no. Let me just take this out as well. Nice. <laughs> just sort of like running my fingers through it a bit to try and break the curls up a bit. I think it's kind of helping. Yeah, I mean, this gets a thumbs up. That is a relief because after the nail was not working, I was feeling a bit sad, but I feel like this one's worked pretty well. So I had a little look in the fragrance section and one of the most wished for was the Sol de Janeiro number 68 Perfume Mist. I've tried one of their other ones before. This is the one that I always use, the number 62. I didn't realize this one would be so much smaller. This one's way bigger, but apparently it's the number 68 that is the most wished for. So maybe this one smells even better. Oh yeah, that was pretty great. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's more of like a pinky color, whereas the other one's orange. I can't get the fucking lid off. There we go. Oh, okay. First of all, I'm gonna give it a little sniff test. Okay, that, that is pretty good actually. Yeah, I think I might like that one even more than the other one. It's a really sweet smell. Wait, what is it meant to be? Brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, let's give it a little spray. I don't wanna get it in my hair. Okay, yeah, that one's so nice. It is finally time to do my makeup. So I'm gonna start off with a bit of the face mist that I mentioned earlier. I'm just gonna spray. <laughs> so the first makeup product that I have is actually kind of like a primer, foundation and concealer all in one, but it did come up in the most wished for concealer section. And that is the Maybelline Instant Age, no, Instant Anti-Age Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. Yeah, it says it's a primer, a concealer, a highlighter and a BB cream all in one. So I'm just gonna use this as like my base kind of foundation product. I got mine in the shade Fair Light. This was the absolute lightest shade they did. I feel like that looks like it's gonna be a little bit too dark for me. Um, but yeah, it just comes on this kind of spongy, hang on. Yeah, it comes on this little like squishy, spongy applicator. And then I'm guessing you just kind of twist it. Oh, I think it's coming. Yeah, you just kind of twist it and it kind of squeezes out of the sponge. Okay, so I guess it just kind of, oh. It's just coming out as like a white milky liquid. Okay, you gotta like twist it a little bit more. There we go. Is this what it's meant to be like? I feel like it's very separated. Like you can really see the separate parts of it. Anyway, I'm just gonna wipe some of this on my skin. I think maybe, is that enough? Okay, I'm just gonna start blending it out. I think it is gonna be super light coverage because obviously it's not actually meant to be a foundation. It's more of like a, what did they call it? A BB cream? I've already used like, that much just from one go i did put quite a lot on so for contour one of the most wished for products was the elf halo glow beauty wand and this is the contour one because they had a contour or blush and a highlighter i got the highlighter as well i got mine in the shade fair slash light so this is what it looks like and then i think it's on a little oh my a little like spongy yeah okay so how does this one work is it a twister is it a squeezer oh it's a squeezer yeah you just give it a little squeeze and then it comes out okay so i'm just gonna do some little dots 
Blend it in. I mean, it seems like a pretty nice shade and it's blending out pretty well as well. And then for blush, again, we have another e.l.f. product. This is their Camo Liquid Blush. I got mine in the shade Dusty Rose. Apparently e.l.f. are popping off on Amazon. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And then, oh my goodness, this is just a compilation of me struggling to open lids. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I feel like this is gonna come out quite intense. I'm just gonna do two little dots like that. I was right, probably didn't even need two dots. Probably could have just done with one. It is quite a nice color though. It's like a sort of peachy pink, I guess. Okay, that side definitely came out a bit better. This is looking a bit much. And then for highlighter, one of the most wished for is again, by e.l.f. This is the highlighter version of the contour from before. So it's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Highlight. I got mine in the shade Champagne Campaign. So this is what it looks like. And then again, on a little spongy sponge. And then same as before, it looks like I'm literally trying to aim this at you. <laughs> same as before, you just give it a little squeeze. So yeah, I'm just gonna tap it up there a little bit. I might just try blending it with my finger. I mean, it definitely blends out quite easily, but has it given me a highlight? I feel like it hasn't really done much at all. Oh crap, okay, this side, oh, cause that side's catching the light. You might be able to see it more here. This next section is incredibly boring, um, <laughs> but I feel like it kind of works because whenever I film makeup videos, I always do my eyebrows, my eyeliner, and probably my mascara off camera. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm gonna do because these are all products that I already use. So first of all, when I went into the the most wished for eyebrow section. It was just mostly NYX products. The pencil that I use, the gel that I use, the brow gel, they were both on there. And then I go and look at the most wished for eyeliner. And again, I think that they were all things that I've tried before or things that I already use. So I went for my favorite one, which is again, the NYX eyeliner. This is their Epic Ink Liner. And then I went onto the most wished for mascara and it was this one. I can't remember what the other two were. I think again, they were things that I already have. Um, but number one was the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do this entire section off camera because I probably would have anyway and you've probably seen me use all of these products before. So I'll be back in a sec. So for the most wished for lip product, again, this is something I've seen so many adverts for recently on Instagram. So again, I wonder if a lot of people are also getting adverts and then they're putting it in their Amazon wish list. But this is a peel off lipstick thing. It's by the brand Wonder Skin and it's their Wonder Blading lip color. I believe it goes on bright blue and then you peel it off and it kind of leaves you with a lip stain that's supposed to last all day. I got mine in the shade Whimsical. Okay, so this is the lip color. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so as you can see, it starts off this like bright blue color. It says to apply two to three thick coats like a lip gloss. Okay, coat number one. Cute. Okay, coat number two. Okay, so this is how it's looking after two coats. I think that's probably enough. So you could just leave it like this. Why is it kind of a vibe? I feel like a little alien. Okay, so now I've got to leave it for, oh, only 10 to 45 seconds. The longer you leave it on, the more saturated your lips will be. Okay, well, I've just been yapping, so it's probably already been like a minute. Next, you take the activator and spray it one to two times to peel and reveal. Uh, what do you do if you accidentally spray it in your eyeball? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sting, so I, I think I'm fine. Um, right, let's try that again. Mm -hmm. I sprayed it, but it's gone like all over my face. Like that spray is very, oh, a little bit came off. Okay, it doesn't like peel off in one big sweep. You kind of just have to sort of brush it off and it comes off like this. That's okay. Oh, look at it cracking. Nice. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's hard work getting it all off. This is how it's left my lips. I, I guess it's worked. I mean, the top looks a little bit sort of smoother and neater. The bottom is kind of a little bit more patchy. I mean, it's definitely worked. It's definitely added color, but yeah, I don't know if it looks that great. I have one more product. This technically isn't a most wished, oh no, it is. It was in the most wished for section, but it wasn't in the top three. So I bought it because I was just curious about it, but I wasn't gonna include it in the video because it's not in the top three. But now that it's here, I'm like, I may as well put it in. It is still technically a most wished for product. So this is a little freckle product thing. It's by the brand D-Roll and it's their Freckles Liquid Air Cushion. Uh, I got mine in the shade Saddle Brown, which I think was the lightest one. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It just comes in a little pot and then on the inside, 
This is your little stamper. And then I'm guessing, yeah, the product is in there. So I've just got to stamp it into this kind of cushion thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm flipping you off. I'm gonna stick it in this. And then we got this on this. And now I'm just gonna kind of dot it. Is that making it worse? Is that making it better? I have no idea. I'm just dabbing. Okay, same again on the other side. A little stamp, a little stamp. Yeah, it's definitely something. So you know how I wasn't gonna include this in the video and then I thought last minute, oh, let's just include it. I shouldn't have included it because um, I feel like I've just ruined my makeup look at the last minute. It's a nice idea, like the whole stampy thing. That's a nice idea, but who are you? Your stamper. You need to make your pricks a bit. <laughs> Uh, smaller. Smaller pricks, please. <laughs> Said no one ever. Yeah, they're like little spiky bits. If they were a little bit smaller, I think this could work and it would be a really good product. But because they are quite big and they leave you with massive circles on your face, it just looks a little bit much, I think. I mean, there's not really too much I can do about it now. Um, luckily, I'm not doing anything today. Oh, who knew? <laughs> I'm sure you all guessed that. I'm probably going to spend my day editing this video, so yeah. That is my makeup done. Up until about five minutes ago, I thought it all looked pretty good. Now I'm not so sure. Anyway, I'll see you guys later when it's time to take my makeup off and test out some more beauty products. Bye. Okay, I'm back. It's now the evening. It's time to take my makeup off and I'm so excited because I keep jump scaring myself every time I look in the mirror today and see my freckle fail. So I'm very excited to take them off. Hopefully they come off. One of the most wished for makeup removers was this. I feel like this is another um, Sarah V moment. It's a bit boring, like I thought it might be something a bit more interesting, but a lot of people are wishing for the Garnier Micellar Hyaluronic Aloe Water. This is a little bit different to the one that I normally use. I usually just use the one with the pink lid. This is what it looks like. It's literally just a micellar water, but this one has hyaluronic acid in it. So I guess it does extra good things for your skin. Okay, first of all, let's see if these freckles come off easily. They come off easily, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, it smells different to the one I use as well. So yeah, I mean, this is very unexciting. I'm basically just gonna take my makeup off. Wait, what about my lips? Does this come off? I kind of want it to, because I'm not too keen on the lip stain thing. Well, it is kind of like toning it down a little bit and you can see it on the pad, it is kind of coming off, but it's not fully coming off. I managed to get the lip stain off, which was great. I just had to proper scrub. And I have to talk quite quiet because sleeping man upstairs. What have I done since I last filmed? Took my makeup off, washed my face again with the face wash from earlier. I've had a shower. So yeah, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the serum that again, I mentioned earlier. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Okay, so the most wished for product in the like face mask section were actually a load of eye masks. So these are by the brand Grace and Stella and they are the hydrating and soothing eye masks. I think if I remember rightly, they looked really pretty. This is what it came in. I think you get quite a lot in here. <laughs> oh, you get 24 pairs, okay. I swear from the picture, they looked glittery, but these are not glittery. I mean, yeah, I guess they kind of do have a bit of a like metallic look to them. Okay, just gonna put one of them here. Whoa, they're really thick. Like they have some chunky eye patches. And then the other one, whoa, they are, they're really big. I mean, they feel lovely though. They feel very cold. Like I feel like all eye patches do though. They all have that nice like cold feeling. Okay, whilst they are doing their thing, I've got one more product. I think this was in the most wished for lip gloss section, but I'm sure it's a lip oil. So I'm gonna kind of use it as like my lip balm before I go to bed. This is what it is. It's the NYX, more NYX, the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. Oh, it's in the shade Mist Cool. So they're like tinted lip oils. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And then, oh my goodness. There we go, it's just on a little applicator. I feel like this might smell nice. It looks like it's gonna smell good. Okay, yeah, it does have like a sort of, mm, I guess like a strawberry smell. It smells good. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Oh my goodness, yeah, it is really tinted. Damn, okay, maybe this is more of like a daytime product than a going to bed product. Now I look like I've got a full on lipstick on when I'm going to bed, but I mean, it feels nice. It feels like a nice sort of moisturizing lip oil kind of thing. So I feel like it's gonna do the job. Oh my God, my eyeballs have, not my eyeballs, my eye patches are falling. But yeah, that is me all done. I actually might take these off. It's probably been like five minutes and it's meant to be 15. They kind of sting a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 
Maybe these are not for me. Well, that's a shame because I've got a whole freaking pack of them. You'll be seeing those in a giveaway near you. <laughs> anyway, that is everything. Those are all of the most wished for products that I have to test. And that is everything. That is my beauty stuff done for the day. All I got to do now is sleep and that is not something you need to watch so i will see you guys very soon i hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and yeah see you soon bye